Hi, I'm Adishu and this video is gonna be different than my other how-to videos or vlogs. This video is inspired and more or less a summary of this book, which I absolutely love because it reconfirmed the meaning behind my logo, which is the two band-aids representing how music can heal. So number one, music isn't just sound waves or as we like to call it, wiggly air. Music is a creation of audible art. And art is very subjective to the listener, what counts as music and what doesn't. Repetition is a key element in music because our brains are wired to find meanings uh, and patterns in things. Some may argue that even silence can be musical. I think that besides uh, repetition for something to be considered music there needs to be the human aspect behind it. If the song is too perfect and too mechanical like AI made, then we don't connect to it the same way that we connect to songs made by human beings because they are not perfect and that's what makes them perfect. Number two, the balance between novelty and familiarity is what makes us humans like music so much. If the music is too simple and too repetitive and too much of the same, we get easily bored and same goes to if the music is way too complicated. And it really much works like an acquired taste for example, the more music theory you know, the more complicated songs you're gonna like and the more you listen to certain genres, the more you start to appreciate the little details about it that makes it so special. And the reason why familiarity and novelty in music is such an important thing is because our brains release dopamine. They can anticipate something that they're familiar with and same goes to the novelty part. Both dopamine and opioids spike when we listen to music that we like and that's what creates this powerful reward system that makes us so addicted to music. Number three, music can change the perception of time and create powerful emotions and experiences. What we experience as chills is directly linked to dopamine in our brains and even when listening to sad music it can be pleasurable because of the release of prolactin which is the hormone associated with comfort and that allows us to experience catharsis without the real life consequences of negative events number four literally anybody can learn how to make and appreciate music people think that you're either born with talent for music or not but that couldn't be further away from the truth with enough practice and with the right person guiding you through the learning process you can become the best musician out there number five music has crazy powerful healing abilities like actually it can help with anxiety stress pain management and in some cases it can also help with speech disorders and even alzheimer's or dementia again because music activates our brain's reward system of releasing happy hormones number six music enhances our cognitive abilities leading to structural changes in our brains like an enhanced connection between our auditory and our motor regions, memory, attention, improved ability to process speech and other sounds in very noisy spaces. And still I can never hear what people say. Number seven, music is a very powerful way to connect with other people and it has been part of so many cultural and social events throughout history and it still is. Music pulls people together through rhythm. When we dance together, it increases trust and empathy through the release of oxytocin, which is the, the social bonding hormone. And music being part of so, so many cultural and social movements, rituals, protests, and not even mentioning that every single country has a national anthem. And music continues to develop us and play such an important role in our lives and it continues to amaze me every single day. So I will continue making music that inspires, gives you a confident boost, but also comforts you when you need a shoulder to cry on. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.